back home. My name is Nikki. I'm going to be your patina artist and I'm going to be working with you to produce our Moving On Parade. It'll be slightly different this year. As you notice, we're um, in lockdown, so going out on the streets might be a bit tricky and actually coming into your school is even trickier. So that's why you're seeing me through a screen. Anyway, hopefully by now you've seen um, the amazing presentation and we'll have a rough idea of what we're going to be doing. We're going to, the theme is we're making history and how apt is that because we really are. I don't think there's many parades that are going to be done in this way. So we're going to be creating a virtual parade with you guys. We've been working really hard to get this together and we've thought of loads of ideas and it's going to involve you making a representation of yourself in a form of an avatar. Right, the avatars, be, you can choose, I'm going to be making videos and you can choose what avatar you want to do so you can spend as much time as or as little time as it on it as you want. You can make something incredibly simple all based on a, a toilet roll so you could start by just doing a little toilet roll version of yourself. You could progress, you could make something a bit bigger, cut out a, a figure like that out of a um, box of cereal and have it so that it sits down like that and that could be your avatar. You could make the arms and legs out of scrunched up newspaper and have your, this one could be sitting down, crossed legs like that, it can do its own thing. Or you could make it more animated and make yourself a little animated character like this. I'll be showing you how to make these in a video once I've um, once I've got your ideas, I'm going to be making a video showing you how to make the avatars. You're going to be needing to collect some bits of materials. Um, as you can see, I've got a whole load here. It can range from, I mean, the avatar, if you want to do the puppet, you can collect twigs and things. It's really handy if you can find twigs that look like they've got bits of feet and things. I've got some moss for the hair and things like that, and some string, string for hair as well. I've got some old socks for dresses, this one's got a hole in it, egg boxes, newspaper, paper bags, cardboard, anything of course, your toilet roll is a must, but collect anything that you get a nice little pile of things that you can turn into something. Right, that's, that's the avatar bit done. Um, when these are all finished, there will be an exhibition of these. When we're in out of lockdown, we'll have these all paraded all beautifully in some kind of space. I don't know where that's going to be. That's still got to be sorted. But we'll have them arranged like a massive, great um, parade. It'll be fantastic. So we better find out what your theme is. I've been given an envelope. I think this the number was chosen by somebody from your school and I've been given this envelope that holds your theme. So here goes, let's see what we're going to be doing. Right, we have, oh, we've got a dress. That's uh, very apt because we're doing a catwalk out way through history. So let's see what this dress, I think it opens up. Here we go. What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? The 80s. We've got the 80s. Yay! I love the 80s. Oh, it was great. Shell suits, power dressing, big shoulders, big hair. Absolutely fantastic. Lots of colour. They had fluorescence all over the place, so bright, bright colours. That's probably why this was such a bright colour, isn't it? Yes. Ah, so that's what we've got and that's what we're going to be doing. I love the 80s. It's all about the, there's the new romantics, there's the, um, what else is the two tones, the goths, Madonna, uh, rah rah skirts, <laughs> brilliant age. We've got an awful lot to choose from. You can go back and have a look at the uh, presentation and see what it says about the 80s. And it says about, um, what was it? There was the old, uh, a lot of people dre dressed athletically in bright coloured clothes, even though they weren't going down to the gym, which is that definitely happened. I was there, I saw it. 
Um, what else can we do? There's so, there's so much. I like the big shoulders and the big hair. That's, that's sort of one of the things that really, really stood out for me in the 80s. And the music, of course, and there's all the, all the face painted Adam and the ants and the new romantics with all their strange hair and things. Oh, brilliant, brilliant time to have. I'm so looking forward to seeing your ideas. So what you guys are going to have to do now is draw do a bit of research, check out online, see what the 80s was all about. If you don't know, ask your parents, ask your grandparents, find out what you want to do to represent the 80s. And then you're going to draw all these ideas down. And I'm going to give you a email so you can photograph your ideas and send me them at this email address. That way I get to see what you, all you fantastic people have been doing and then I'm going to base my um, video on how to make the avatars on all your ideas so send them to me on this address okie dokie if you need a bit of help in hand get somebody to photograph your work and send them for you that'd be really good it'd be fantastic to see you the um, the date the deadline for your photos is the 12th of May so get drawing and get sending them and after I've collected them all in, I'll be, like I say, I'll be making a fantastic little video on showing you how to make all of the avatars that I've shown you. And then you can decorate them by representing, like I would put mine in a rara skirt and I'd have bows in the hair and I'd make it really big. But you'll see that later. Okie dokie. I think that is about all I can say about anything. Um... Looking forward to seeing your drawings. See you later. Bye.